Got him. Oh my god, giant. Oh my god, giant. Good morning, fish guys and girls all across the world. Today is a very special day for a few different reasons. The first and probably the most important is you guys are getting the very first look at the fish guy fishing mystery box right here. Now I am gonna fish a bait or two that you guys will be able to find inside of this box right here, but I'm also gonna fish some baits that you're not gonna be able to because you know, I don't wanna spoil everything inside, but this box right here really looks amazing it came out literally unbelievable I had it in the grass early morning now just take this thing along with us but that is super exciting if you are not familiar with this box right here allow me to fill you in briefly that fish guy fishing mystery box that you just saw is officially launching monday august 14th three days from the time this video is posted i believe the box is a monthly subscription so it'll arrive at your front door once a month with a new batch of lures inside as well as a facebook group that only fish guy mystery box members will be able to join so you guys can share your catches chat with one another there'll be how-to videos tips and tricks from me and chris inside there chris and i will be active with you all chatting back and forth as well as some fish guy fishing tournaments it's gonna be super fun we're super excited but that's enough about that second reason why I'm pretty pumped up today is because I'm actually fishing a brand new lake and we're gonna be hitting all the tunnels that I know in this area there's a few of them and then we're gonna make a drive to one other one but this lake surely is beautiful and the other thing I got to touch on is that I probably look like I just did 12 rounds with Mike Tyson I feel like I got hit by a truck this morning, ladies and gents. But that's enough blabbling. You guys are going on the GoPro and we're gonna start casting around. Let's see if there's fish inside this lake. It sure looks fishy, a lot of stuff popping around. Who knows what's gonna be inside here, but there's only one way to find out, and that's to start fishing. We're gonna go ahead and get to it. We're gonna start fishing right inside here. As I was filming my intro, I did see a lot of fish moving around. So there's no better time than to throw a topwater frog than early in the morning, ladies and gents. These fish will probably be up shallow here oh man there was a bass that just blew up right there okay we gotta hurry up and tie this puppy and then uh then we're gonna go fish some tunnels i want to fish the tunnels a little bit later in the day because they're shaded so uh later in the day when the sun's out real bright that is where those fish are gonna move to super early in the morning these fish are gonna be active they're gonna be feeding the sun's not out too bright but we're gonna throw this frog around. We're gonna keep it near this the brush here. And we're gonna see if we can find ourselves a fish inside here. I've never caught a fish in this area. So a fish early this morning will definitely boost up the confidence a little bit. Yeah, there's fish in here though. That is for dang sure. Keep it close. Keep it near the shrubs, ladies and gents. Some nice long casts along the bank, just like that. If there's a fish along that bank, he's gonna come off it and eat it 100%. Work it nice and slow, a little fast, maybe make him look nervous, pause him. Just make him look like a frog, that's the name of the game. Now when you're walking up close to a bank, you don't want to walk straight up and get right up on it right away because you never know, you might spook a fish that's sitting right there. So make a cast first, work that area. And if you don't catch anything, then you can move in. <laughs> Let's see, what do we got moving on over there? All right, you guys have seen me here a couple of times and uh, we've got the one tunnel right there. We've got one tunnel down there, but I've caught a lot of fish in this area. So we're gonna see if we can now catch one. Oh, we just spooked something big. Oh, we just spooked something good right there. I was impatient, I walked right up. First tunnel of the day, y'all. Let's see what we have inside here. Tough cast, but yep, there you go. Part of the game. We call that <sighs> declined. There we go, skip it in there. Come on. What's lingering inside here? Talk to me. 
Oh my god. You're kidding. You're kidding. You're kidding. No. Was that a stump? No. Oh my god. Look at that. Look what happened here. My hook double backed into the bait. So instead of setting hook into the fish, it set hook into the bait. Look at this. Hang on. There we go. Pull that out. Oh, fish are blowing up right there. Wow, that is super, super, super unfortunate. He also pulled the legs practically out of the bait. Could have been a smaller bass, could have been a smaller snakehead. I don't think that was anything of substantial size, but that's a good, good sign. Really good sign. I definitely think we just had the first bite of the day inside of that tunnel. The frog was all jacked up. Could have been a snakehead, could have been a bass. I'm really not too sure. I fired a few more casts in there but I didn't pull one out. Now I know for a fact there are fish inside this area, but I don't know if there's any fish on the other side. Now it is like semi-connected, so I'm sure they do slip through, but to boost my confidence, I'd like to catch a fish early and uh, I'm gonna switch up baits, go with a little bit more of a smaller swim bait presentation here and just see if we can pull on one. If not, I'm gonna wanna move spots and hit a different spot. So let's see if we can make it happen. right there. Big fish right there. Oh my god, that was the first sign of freaking life I've seen all morning. Besides that one bite I had. Come on, eat it. Eat it. Got him! Oh my god, giant! Oh my god, giant! Oh my god, giant! Giant fish! Another big fish just spooked right there. What am I stuck in? Oh, that's him over there! Giant! Freaking giant! Oh my god! Holy crap, Lord have mercy! We saw that fish blow up right there, and there it went. This is a big, big fish. Real big fish. Oh my God, what do we have here? <gasps> I've never fished this spot. If I had to guess, it most likely is a snakehead. Oh my God, it might be my biggest snakehead ever. Oh my God, it might be my biggest snakehead ever. Is that a snakehead? Holy crap, it's a giant. It's a giant. It's a giant. Please stay glued. Please stay glued. I've never had a snakehead fight like this in my life. Please stay glued. It's a jumbo. Oh my God. I haven't had a freshwater fish fight like this in my entire life. It's a giant dude. He smoked that swim bait. Oh my God, he's big. It's big. It's big. It's big. It's big. He's not happy. He's not happy. Dude, it's the biggest snakehead of my life so far, I think. I've never caught a snakehead that big. Holy crap. Stay right there. Don't you move. Holy crap. That's a giant. That is a freaking unit. Oh my God. By far the biggest I've ever caught in my life. Holy crap. Oh my God, I gotta go get the big camera. Oh my God. Look at that fish sitting on the bank. Oh. You're lying. Oh, holy crap. That right there is by far 110% the biggest snakehead I have ever caught in my entire life. He is gotta be every bit of like eight pounds. Look at that fish right there. That is a giant. We saw it blow up. I had to fire the bait in there a couple times. He saw it and he pummeled it. He's big. Look at that thing. Look at the size of that. That's huge. That is a jumbo. Wow. That is crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, fish guys and fish girls, 
That was the biggest snakehead I have caught to date, and I've caught some big ones. I really wish I had a scale that I could have put that fish on because I think he would have went 8 to 10 pounds all day. He was thick. The head on that thing was a unit. I hope it did justice. I had to, I had to set up the camera. I was freaking out. You guys saw how long that fight was right here inside of this pond. Personally, I think that's probably the biggest fish in here. That is the monster that runs this. I just caught the pond monster. That thing was Huge, you guys have seen me catch numerous amounts of snakeheads, numerous amount of snakeheads, but I've never, ever caught one quite that big. That was freaking crazy, made my morning. I've been biteless, actually no, I did have that one bite in the tunnel, but uh, we just fished this brand new pond and just caught an absolute freaking unit. I cannot freaking believe that. I am so damn stoked right now. That is awesome. You guys, get your hands on a box come August 14th, Monday, and I'm gonna teach you how to catch the biggest fish in your lake or pond, whatever it is, near you. I'm telling you guys, Fish Guy Crash Course, how to be a Fish Guy 101, how to catch bigger and better fish, more fish, I'm telling you. We're gonna bring the value to you like no other. Let's keep on fishing. My heart is still just thumping right now, dude. That was ridiculous, that fight. I want everyone to be able to experience something like that. Like that is, I don't care if you've never even picked up a fishing pole in your life. If you fought a fish like that and caught that thing and fooled it on an artificial, um, I hate to break it to you. Actually, I love to break it to you, but you're gonna be hooked on fishing. There's, there's literally nothing that will get you into the game more than that. Catching a absolute giant just like that. Holy crap. That fish was in, I don't know. Let me see how far my rod tip can go five inches of water. This water's super murky, so you can't really see in it too well. Oop. Now, after catching that giant one, it's probably time to move spots because every fish in this lake is probably scared of him. Thank you, you too. I just caught one actually, believe it or not. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> See, that's what it's all about, man. Get out in the damn community, ladies and gents. Early morning, people are out spreading positivity. Oh, man. Oh, my God. There's some freaking giants in this lake. There's some giants in this lake, you guys. Did you not see that boil right there? Come on, come eat this. Come eat this. Eat this. Eat this. God, I haven't seen boils like that in a lake in freaking months. Months. Couple spots here and there, you get lucky, you see one or two, but I've seen like three in the span of like 45 minutes. We gotta just keep casting. That's gonna be the name of the game. Keep on casting. Caution, alligators may be present. Do not swim, wade, or dive. Do not feed, avoid thick vegetation on shore. Be especially cautious at night. Well, that's not good. This looks extremely fishy over here, but there's double freaking, oh my God. Oh no, never mind. thought that was a gator. Nope, not a gator, just a rack. See that right there? Stump, rock, something. Let's see if we can pull a fish out of here. We gotta watch the thick veg though, thick vegetation. All right. Let's see what we got moving over here. Quick little 10 pound bass, maybe? Little 10 pound bass action? I would lose my crud. This looks super damn fishy though. All right, we've been biteless for a little bit now, so let me go ahead, switch up baits. We're gonna go ahead with the, the bruiser bait stick worm right here. Bruiser bait stick worm. Let's see if we can pull one out of here. I've yet to even see a bass inside of here, which is a bit worrisome. So it could literally just be snakeheads in here. I don't really know, but we are gonna see if we can find ourselves a bass. Cause if we can find ourselves a bass in here, then then I'm definitely gonna want to come back because I'm super into the whole bass game right now, but there we go. We're rigged up. 
I'll tell you what, if there's a bass in here, there's no way he's not eating this worm. So this is my go-to bait if I want to find out if there's bass inside here. Alrighty y'all, we're doing a little bit of a spot change here. I would say the first spot was dang sure a success. That was an absolute unit, my biggest snakehead of all time. My biggest freshwater fish, I think, actually no, I've caught a nine pound bass. I don't, I don't know how big that snakehead went, but let me tell you what, he was big and he put up a fight. Best fight I've ever had in freshwater, hands down, no problem. We're gonna change spots now. We're gonna go see if we can find some, find some bass here. I'm gonna go to another new spot. I kinda wanted to use today's video just as a new spot kind of deal. I don't have any of these spots dialed in, so I'm not expecting to go here and catch 20, 25, 30 fish. I'm going here to maybe figure a little something out, catch a couple good fish, and get on with my way. So I'll see you guys when we're at the new spot. All right, here we are. Spot number two of the day. Roadside canal, ladies and gents. Really dang clear water. I'm gonna see if we can do a little bit of sight fishing here. This water is like gin clear and it's shallow. So I kind of like spots like this, especially when it's a first time spot. You can actually see if there's fish here. Oh my God, that's a stud bass. Oh my Lord. Hopefully he didn't just see me, but that ain't a small bass. That is not a small bass right there. Where did he go? Don't want him to see me. Zero interest. That fish is on a mission. That fish is on a mission. That fish is on a mission. I think he saw me. Like that was not a small bass. Holy crap. We might've found ourselves a honey hole. Another big snakehead right there, ripping it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh my God, he's on a mission. All right, this water is so clear. If these fish see you, they're not gonna eat, but I want you guys to see this snakehead. Look at that thing, just ripping right there, hauling. Can you guys see that thing? That does not even compare. That does not even compare to the size of the one we saw earlier. All right, we're gonna keep walking, see if we can sight something out, make a few casts, maybe get lucky. Well. I don't know if Florida's the only dang state that has these suckers right here, but I know we call them burrs. Oh, it's gone. Or at least I call them burrs or stickers or little thorn thingies, I don't know, but they suck. And I think that's where I'm gonna draw the line right there. I fished this spot for like 20 minutes, saw a really big bass, but it was in gin clear water, which makes it super tough to catch. I gotta get moving now, cause I gotta go film for the main channel, finish up a little stuff for the box since we're about four days out. It is literally so hot here in Florida. I cannot even stand, I, I cannot even stand on that. I have to stand in the grass. It is currently 95 degrees out here and it is, it's ridiculous. It's almost unbearable. As soon as you step outside, it is just, you're, you're sweating. You're literally sweating, that's why I either gotta go fishing early in the morning like I did today or in the evening time. During the middle of the day, I doubt the fish are even eating. It's not even worth going to try for me because I will literally just sweat. But we got some fish inside here that uh, don't really mind the, uh, the heat. And that is the tarpon right there. I'm gonna give both of these to the tarpon. Boom, just like that. That's a wrap. My feet are on fire, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. That is my new personal best snakehead, my biggest freshwater fish, literally, to this date. Don't forget about the box, August 14th, Monday. I cannot wait for you guys to get it inside of your hands. It's gonna be awesome. I love you all so much. I'll catch you all in that next video. Peace out.